Congratulations, uh, First Fundamental Baptist Church of Agudo for your 34th anniversary. I also want to extend congratulations to Dr. Abagon, my dad, for the years of his service to our Savior and Lord, and I join all of our family members in this tribute. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9 says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for in due season we shall reap. And I'm the first person to stand in line to tell you, Dad, how grateful I am for you following the Lord. I know it's not been a perfect journey, but a man's courage is not measured by how many times he falls down. It's how many times he gets back up. And I want to thank you for persevering. God place you to be a family man. Needless to say, you have a big family, but you have provided well, and you have persevered. I remember growing up, and you would bring us to homes filled with smoke, gambling, and drinking, and strangers. Of course, this was before you became a Christian. Remember, there was a time when you even decided to invest on a bar? It's called the Red Apple. <laughs> but then, you came to know Jesus in your life. And uh, things didn't happen overnight. I mean, it was a scary journey, but it was gradual. But it was a good journey. I remember when you brought me to your work one day. I don't know if you were drunk and you forgot to leave me back in the house, but I was inside the OR with you. And in this instance, the head surgeon was inside the OR prepping things. And you stepped in. And even without looking, the surgeon says, I smell Dr. Abagon. <laughs> no kidding. The sanitized, clean operating room all of a sudden was dominated by smell of smoke and wine. It was that bad. But don't worry. The patient survived. I know there were also fights. And there were tears. Well, and so the spiritual journey began. Sure, the yelling and fighting subsided. And you know what replaced it? The yelling and fighting with pastors. <laughs> I remember you had a shouting match with a priest. And you also had fighting matches with Iglesia and Cristo pastors. Then, you remember the time you had an issue with speaking in tongues with the Catholic Charismatics? Because you went there for a while. I think what threw you off was they gave you tapes to practice speaking in tongues. <laughs> and that was so funny. I knew real transformation was happening because you were changing. You brought us one by one into your spiritual journey and the most important, you brought your friends, your inner circles, you brought your family to the Lord. But you, you persevered. I remember those evening runs from one house to the other doing Bible study and most of the time I really had no idea what I was doing. But you, persevere. Then your passion changed from starting and doing Bible studies to doing and starting churches. And because of your influence, many churches started, were encouraged, and remained. And they too persevered. Then the most unimaginable things happened in your life. By God's merciful intervention, after Mommy Del passed away, Jojo passed away, and several more people in your life passing away, God opened an opportunity to allow you to face your past. I mean, you and Mama Beck started talking a lot more seriously. I will never forget, a few years back, you and Mama Beck would visit every family member you could visit to let them know that you are getting back together. It was difficult because everybody doubted you. Your children, your friends, your immediate and even extended families doubted you, but nonetheless, you persevered. Dad, there is a saying that says, when God closes the door, He opens a window. And today, I want to congratulate you and pay tribute to you as a father, as a family man, as a spiritual leader, as, as a church planter, as a pastor, and above all, as a good friend. And just as in the past you persevered, there is no reason why you should stop now. 
in behalf of Tina, my wife, and my sons, Michael, Miko, Mishang, we send our love to you, Dad, and we send it to all of you. Again, congratulations. And I love you, Dad. Aloha. <laughs>